best friend. Oh, you're my best friend. But like, don't come to any of this. Are you guys Eskimo sisters? <laughs> he used to be out on the corner. He was dealing in drugs. Got himself a barber's chair and gave off some cuts. Now he's a podcaster. His life, he'll talk about it with us. And now it's Jeff FM. What's your deal lately? You're being Jeff extra FM. sassy. Am I? Yeah, like you just snap at me now and... <laughs> You know, I can never tell if it's a bit or not. No, it, it, <laughs> it, I'm being serious. Like the other day, I put up that funny joke on Snapchat and you were like, oh, what, like, how could you say that? I have AIDS or whatever. Um, you're such a fucking gaslighter manipulator. Seriously. He, okay. So we like go do this shoot, right? And we're shooting this spill your guts or fill your guts video for my channel. And there's all these different sets in there, you know? Right, yeah. And there was like this kissing booth set. And he's like, mm -hmm. come here, let's take a snap for his idea, like whole nine. Mm -hmm. So he's like standing in the kissing booth. We take a photo. I get home and I'm just like looking through Snap, just like seeing what he posted, you know? Mm -hmm. And he's posting these kissing booth photos and he's captioning it like, can you get an STD from kissing? Well, I was gonna, put, I was gonna put, can you get bitch. AIDS from kissing, but I don't want them to flag my Snapchat because so it's going So I texted good. you and I said, you have a tiny, tiny inverted wiener and okay, you're weird. Okay, whatever, that's how we joke uh, around. It wasn't, un I wasn't just like, God, I want to be mean to Jeff. Like you, sta you started that, you fully started that. Okay, well, <laughs> uh, Sky, can you can you pull your yeah, pull mic it closer? Yeah, uh, Stephen, help her with a mic if she, if she needs help. <laughs> Sorry, I've also never worn these before, so I feel like I like it's, never it's throwing them. me off. Well, we do a lot of fun stuff. You'll I'll see. get used to it. Yeah, and you see Kyle back there. You met Kyle before. Where is he right now in the shower? They are the bathroom boys. Yeah, okay. uh, they're always in there. Yeah, yeah. always. They okay. sleep there. They live there together. I don't let them out. <laughs> Doesn't uh, even feed them. Technical difficulties. We're good. Is everybody nervous or what? What's everyone, going on here? Everyone got new haircuts. Look at Kyle. Yeah. Look yeah. Go. The weatherman <laughs> changed up. You won't even recognize. He him. looks fucking hot. Get the fuck out of here. Like no, Ryan and Kyle. They both look great. I'm just saying. The Ryan. Steven got a haircut too. I didn't What's see it. Fuck? I didn't see it. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know you got a haircut. Show, show the class. No, I'm absolutely not sure. He fucked it up on purpose. Get the fuck out of here. You look sick. No, it looks like a bowl cut. Oh, he did it. it looks Jeff like a did it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a real barber. Why are you pressing me? <laughs> well, I asked you, I was like, do you want to come on the barbershop or podcast? And you were like, podcast with Tana, only with I Tana. said podcast because it scares me, the idea of you cutting my hair. It scares me too. I, I would be nervous and I'd probably be like, my <laughs> yeah. hands would be shaking. And I don't yeah. know how to cut women's hair. So, uh -huh. yeah, my well, barbershop nice episode was. What? You can start being nice over there? <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, I love you. I love you too. And I want to, I want to get to something. Okay. I was going to do it later in the show because we have to talk to Skylar and that's what we call her now. Oh, Skylar. you said Skylar. Yeah. That actually means a lot to Aww. me. That means a lot to me. Well, you, you told me that you wanted to be called Skylar. Yes. From now on by that your is my name. real name. Yes. I love yeah. Skylar. I call you. you just everything under the sun, but now I know. Okay, what's going on? Well, Skylar and your last name? We don't say the last name. Oh, uh, so Bree is like a... Sky Bree. Okay, so Bri my real name is Skylar Brianna and then my last name. So for my like online alias, I just cut my first and middle name in half and I go by Sky Bree. But yeah. now I'm just like, I want to be Skylar. Like, yeah. I love Skylar. Like yeah. Walter Skylar's White, a hot the, name. the wife in yeah. Breaking name. Bad. Walter yes. White's wife, yes. Skylar. Oh, wow. <laughs> she was a, uh, a B word in that, you know? <laughs> I'm not a B word. No, 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 no. Are you guys going to change your last names when you get married? Or are you going to be like Kim Kardashian and just keep the Kardashian? Because you're celebrities, you know? I would That's love to brand. change mine. Mine's just so complicated. I would love like a Smith. I would love like a, yeah. like a short little- Tana sit Smith, mm -hmm. right? Tana Paul. So mean. You were so close. <laughs> Tana Paul, Dude, Tana Wittick. I would love, right. Kinda Tana Wittick, that's nice with the A, yeah. Wittick. Yeah. yeah. I think about when I get married, what if what I don't like his last name? 100%. Like what if it's something just fucking terrible? You have that excuse like, look, this is my brand. It's my business. Like I got to right. keep yeah. mine. Right. Then we keep it. Makes it. Sense. Yeah, for yeah. sure. I think anything's better than mine. So I guess I'm probably looking out. But yours is your brand. If you change it, how are people going to find you? You know, maybe I don't want to be found. How That's poetic. not true. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> you want to be, be found. <laughs> yeah, for now, for now. What were you going to say to me? What did you want to bring up? I, I want to get to it later because, you know, you are a host here yeah. on the show. We have a guest and you know what? Fuck it. I got it. I got to tell you. <laughs> I saw you did a podcast recently. Mm -hmm. I think it was recently with Zach. Oh, today. Yeah. It aired today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and I don't know. I know we talk about it a lot, but the way you guys spoke on it really made me like I, I cried all right change the fucking calendar jeff cried again <laughs> i teared up did you new cry date did yeah. you yeah i love you i love you too it was really sweet and it was nice how you guys broke it down we don't have to watch the whole podcast because oh the whole God. thing 
You had it ready, Oscar. God. Fuck. No, don't don't even play it because it's. I'm gonna get emotional now. It's a fun show. We we're not supposed to get too serious here. You seen my Snapchat? Yeah. My new contest that I do every day. I'm a fan dogs? of it. Actually, you see I it? am. I am. Yes. My dog yeah. uh, contest. Where you rate them? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I just got a funny message. They were like, "Do you tell the owners when you're taking pictures of their dogs?" <laughs> Do you? So weird. No, the fuck? I just do drive-bys, you know? Yeah. I want to be do on like it as a dog. you slowly roll up and just roll down your window and snap? No, okay? no, because I'm on the run and I run through <laughs> oh, like okay. parks yeah. and I'll just see dogs and like, who's to say that that's the best dog, you know? Right, yeah. Right. Like, what is the criteria, the judging, you know? It's all yeah. fucking bullshit. I like ugly dogs, like dogs that are so ugly, they're cute. It's kind of yeah. how I like my men too, but... Me too. So, you, do you like ugly men? We have too? that in common. We do. We, we love ugly men. We have some X's or AX. Yeah, we I, we have the same <laughs> fucking taste. We really do. We really do. Yeah. God, it's dark. Do you, it's are dark you guys asking my sisters? Yeah. Yeah. That's the first. I remember the first time we talked about it too. We were like, "Did you? Was, you did that? <laughs> I was just gonna say that. I think that's what we bonded over for it, the first time. I think we sat back. We sat on your back patio and just talked about it for an hour. It's like. <gasps> I like remember spilled that. our hearts out. I to remember each other. that. Yeah. And it was our first bonding yes, moment. Yeah. And oh ever God. since then, that's what created the friendship. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. That's really it's the way that that's we're so like that. Yeah, it's like the grossest, nastiest <laughs> shit we did in bed. We're like, that is so beautiful. Mike's texting me mm. about stuff. In huh. the car, I was telling her how I would never fuck you, and she says she was like, That's <laughs> what? That's what you were saying. She's like, That's how I feel about Mike. Well, she asked me if we'd ever fucked, and I was saying, you know. Good. I need to come prepared. I wanted to know if yeah. you. Yeah. I wanted to know that about Mike too. So we just, we both got a I question a answered. Uh -huh. No, I haven't fucked Mike. Never? Not once? Not once, no. I well, think we maybe have kissed. I'm not, I'm not even sure if we've kissed before. Being out with Mike is like, right I think I would though. Like, you would? <laughs> yeah. That's so funny you say that right after you said, I like ugly guys. And then you're like, I, I want to kiss Mike. <laughs> okay, so, okay, so the thing with Mike actually is, I told him, I was like, it, it just randomly came to me. I was like, Mike, you know who you remind me of? And you look exactly like- Adam Sandler? My dad. When my no. dad was younger. <laughs> and I think that's what threw it off for me. What? Oh my God. I thought you were going to say that's what like made you into it. So I guess no, that's like a no. way better, <laughs> that's a way better way to go. Yeah. You know? But I think there's some weird like programming in our brains that makes us kind of because you want to fuck your mom to, no 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 not me but I'm, i know like other people talk about you know they, they want to find somebody that's kind of like their parents maybe. yeah have you ever noticed couples a lot of times they look alike like they could be brother and sister mm -hmm. that happens a lot yeah siblings are dating we go out and do street interviews because we see people that you know look like they could be related but they're fucking we love siblings are dating all right today's episode is sponsored by summer if you're spending all your nights at home alone watching old jeff fm episodes it's probably time you put yourself out there summer is a dating app and they're here to help you go on more real dates. You're probably wondering, how is Summer different from other dating apps? Instead of going through profiles one by one, you see an explore page of single people nearby and you pick who catches your eye. Summer is a dating app you won't keep deleting and re-downloading. I'm partnering with Summer because they actually want to help you meet real people in real life instead of starting chats that never leave the app. Download Summer now and you'll find someone to watch Jeff Fem with so you don't have to do it alone without having to re-download tip or hit. Let Summer take your dating life to the next level and get you on more first dates. Summer's offering a free week of Summer Plus for the first 100 people who fucking reading like a toddler. Summer's offering a free week of Summer Plus for the first 100 people who use the code Jeff after signing up. So head over to the App Store or Google Play Store to download Summer and use code Jeff. That's Summer in the App Store or Google Play Store and use code Jeff. And also, uh, we will all be at Coachella next weekend and we will all be using Summer all day and night to find people to go on dates with and film with for our our video we're gonna do sort of a speed dating thing so make sure you're on summer make sure you, you're you're using code jeff and make sure you add me you find me on there hopefully we get to uh fall in love or film together or who knows what'll happen but i'm excited thank you summer for sponsoring the show we love you summer now let's get now let's get back on with the rest of the show you just did a photo shoot you're both exhausted Late it was such today. hard work, it was, you know? It was so much work. It was just so much fucking taking our tits out. It's just like, oh my God, that's so hard. <laughs> Your story's crazy. You used to work at Target. Yes, I worked at Target less than two years ago. So an well, actual well. Target employee red shirt. You weren't like at corporate. But I know you did it hot. Like, I it was... worked in the beauty supply section for over three years. Okay. So I was in deep. Three years working at Target, That's that's pretty deep. You lived in Maryland, right? I lived in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. What? Oh. 
Pensa, <laughs> which is close to Maryland. It's like a 45 yeah. minute drive, I'd say. 45 minutes in Maryland, Stephen. Yeah, yeah we're, we live, we're from that. like close by. Oh, what the heck? Yeah. We went out there to visit him one time. It How'd was, you like it? I, uh, we were only there for like an hour. An he hour? Threw fireworks we were driving Irish. up from Florida up to uh, New York. Oh, gotcha. and we, passed. we chopped the tree down. Remember the fireworks? <laughs> we blew up a big mortar to let him know we were there. So we just put a big like stick of dynamite right, right in his front lawn. Is this legal? My dad's front in Maryland, line. you could do anything. You're in oh, the okay. woods. It's true, just, true. <laughs> you know, so at my dad's house. Was yeah, we blew okay. it up, and is that because we knew his dad wasn't there? Yeah, he like left for Christmas, which is weird that your dad. And like, then they saw it on the ring doorbell. He left you alone. <laughs> you're like, like home alone. They just see an explosion yeah. on the ring on the doorbell. Yeah. Yeah, he I sent live us a picture the of the ring. ring. Like, with the explosion <laughs> on his front lawn. Do you why did your dad leave you alone for Christmas? Do you have a ring doorbell? Yes, I have a ring doorbell. One in my bedroom and one in my living room i'm like Very obsessed safe. with the You're ring like do you know what Culkin. do you know what i want to yeah. do what? like randomly is take like a fan's video on the ring i've done that before oh my god you're my soulmate dude, dude i'm always i'm on top of things i have lots of ideas i will share them with you, you. need to start bitch so you, oh my god but you're not doing that stuff anymore this is what we discussed that's what so i am not i'm i'm stepping back from i'm still always gonna do fans because mm -hmm. i enjoy doing fans mm. but porn i never coming to la i didn't know i was gonna get into porn i guess it just kind of was like the easy route and my managers are involved in the mm -hmm. whole porn scene mm. i did it for a while i liked it i'm not gonna say i'm completely done with it but i think i want to just focus more on i don't know branding myself in other ways it's a smart. Skyler, a Skyler, not as like mm -hmm. Sky Bree. It's smart. Yeah, it's so smart, and you have a great personality. Like you're so Thank fucking you. funny and dope that I think Thank that there's you. so many like avenues you could go. And like, also, if you don't like doing it, and it's fucking with your head or anything like mm -hmm. that. Like, fuck doing right. that. You know, yeah. it's just draining having so many sexual interactions with honestly strangers. Like, yeah, you for a lot of times when you go and you do a scene with someone, it's your first time meeting them. And even though it is work, it is still mentally draining. For I sure. Guess, if that makes sense. And like probably desensitizes a yeah. lot of other humans. That's yes. wild that you just meet this person and then you got to go on. Like, yeah. Imagine I mean, right now if like they walked in and they're like, all right, let's go drop your pants, mm -mm. Steven. <laughs> That's scary. <laughs> I mean, it's not random people off the it, like the, off the street or anything. And I, I work with people that are like reputable that like I see other girls work with and stuff. But still, it's just sex is an energy exchange yeah. you know and i was i had worked with so many people and i just was just becoming drained and desensitized i've always been a relationship type girl i've i've had several like multiple year long yeah. relationships mm. and this is the longest i've been single and i feel like it's because i've been doing porn and i've just been desensitized are you yeah. allowed to drink before sets or do i don't personally no do you have to though for like like a like mainstream porn? Like you don't have I've to, never I've done mainstream so. porn. I've only ever done like uh scenes for fans. Okay. I would oh my god, I can't imagine though that's like a dark rabbit hole within itself drinking before that shit because yeah. it's like it probably becomes so normalized and like I would like oh my god, I would have to. I've personally <clears> never <throat> done it just because I, I try to be as professional as possible and I feel like that's just not right showing up on scene like yeah. under the influence of something but a lot of the girls in the industry are showing up on drugs and alcohol yeah. and whatnot so. yeah damn i would fucking drink before that i, would, yeah. I, I, I wish i could i would have to what about you you're gonna do a sex tape mm, mate, we were talking about that today actually mm -hmm. i don't think so i was telling her some days i wake up and i'm just like oh my god i want to go fully rogue and i'm like looking at a sex tape that i've just like shot with someone and i'm like oh my god this is so hot like I should, you know, go rogue. But then other days, I feel like the Virgin Mary. So mm -hmm. it's hard because yeah. you know, if you drop it, you would make so much money. Yeah, it's always there. But then it's also like the moral dilemma of like, oh, do I want to be like yeah. the? Do I want to step foot into that like porn category once yeah. you like release that? Yeah, I don't think I could to be honest. But um, I think it'd be fun as fuck at the same time. Mm -hmm. But yeah, and you've been so uh, sober for seventy five days, so you're today's day seventy four of seventy five hard, which is crazy. amazing, amazing. That's Jeff, big. honestly, I have to thank you so much. I don't think I would have ever I done didn't it. Do anything. You did it on your own. I didn't even no. ask you to do it. But there was just something about the conversation that we had and the time that I needed it. And I didn't know I needed it. And I wonder if you had never brought up doing something like that, if I would have actually 
thought about it and implored the idea and you've been so encouraging and like the best friend ever mm -hmm. through this and I really want to thank you and I really appreciate you. Well, you know, you do the same for me. If you want to get somewhere like it's sober, it, it's good to have people that are that have experienced it. You 100%. Know? Like you, you want to, you're saying that you want to do different stuff. Mm -hmm. Do you have friends that you would want like a, a career, like maybe inspirations, like some, some friends that could inspire you? Hannah. That's great. She's so Hannah. cute. Ever no, since I ever know. since I met her, she always you've always yeah, encouraged me. She, you're like you could do so much more. Like one hundred percent. And you're like pretty much the only person that's told me that because everyone like they see great. the sky Brie and they see how well I've done in that in that sphere of like the porn and fans. But you're the one person that's been like, no, you could do anything. Like you could start a fucking YouTube channel. You genuinely <laughs> can. Like I mean, and I like not to shade anyone else by saying this, but if I met you and I was, I felt like that was, you know, like all that you had to offer, I'd be like, yes, girl, keep going. But like, I, I love your personality. It's so and easy I think to be girls, huh? It. It's so fucking easy oh to, be to, be a, to be a beautiful woman. Andrew Tate, motherfuckers <laughs> we tried to do over it, here. Fans for him, and he showed his dick on it when all yeah, out. What the fuck? Did you really? Did you really? Two really? hundred bucks, and I was taking twenty percent because well, I was mad. It's because you didn't have me managing you. That's where you went wrong. Two hundred bucks. So I think I one sixty out of that. Naked on the bed, like going like this, like jumping, um, uh, yeah, up and down on the bed, like this. I shot the pictures for it. <laughs> and we take the picture when I was like that. Were you hard during no, it, or no, was no, it no, a flash? No, 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 no
I say we let the man rest in peace, let his family mourn mm. in private. Let's not use this for You're such a good Samaritan, you. You should go for it, or you. Yeah. It's all for the camera. And I've always said that. <laughs> you guys are all going to take me down. <laughs> Did you guys see that I got number one? Go karting? Good job. Yep, cool. <laughs> You're my favorite okay, person. I can't even put it on. You guys went go-karting. Jeff, you haven't been invited. Like, y'all all went to... Where'd you go? Horseback riding? Summer... What? Uh, no WrestleMania. Wrestle you haven't been inviting me to things. Y'all went horseback riding. I don't organize these oh, things. Steven. I just get last-minute invites. Those were all last, last-minute invites. I didn't know I was going to WrestleMania. Weird. I just popped in, and we were doing a prime oh. uh, sponsorship oh, there. Oh, Tana, you're my best friend. Oh, you're my best friend. But, like, don't come to any of this. Like, just come Take it up with the, with the organizer, yeah. Mike. You know, and he invited wow. me horseback riding. But I said we could go horseback riding, you and me. Wow. You know what? We also have another trip planned. No, I'm not. Stop that. No, no. We're going to go to Kentucky for the Kentucky Derby. Oh, I Ooh. saw your... The way I found out via Snapchat that we're actually going to Kentucky, you were like, should I get this for Tana in Kentucky? Oh. I was like, does this mean I have to it's go like to Kentucky? It was a sweater with a horse on it. <laughs> was it confirmed, really? Yeah, I talked to my sister about it. She said we could come out. Oh, wait, and I'm so excited to meet her. We could go oh. to her uh, barn, and she has like a whole um, farm... Uh, like a, not, I don't know what it's called. Like a, yeah. it's just a fence around like a, a area of grass that the horses run around in. Oh, I'm so ready for that. And Wholesome we could go horseback free. Riding, yeah. We could take that horse and just like drive it around the streets and I stuff. I love drive. <laughs> yeah, yeah we, it, there's no rules. Like we went to the horseback riding on on uh, the Sunset fucking, Ranch. I just yeah. know I'm gonna be so scared, but I'm ready for it. I always get scared before horseback riding. I, I, it's scary. I was just in Spain and I went horseback riding. Had a full blown panic attack on the horse because when we were getting ready like we just got on they put us in this little pin just to like get Warm us up. like a like a feel for the horse and Damn. my horse got spooked by something Ooh. and like fully went up in the air and i almost fall fell <laughs> off of it and so then i was freaked out and then we went uh we like hiked the trails in spain and it was a two hour uh excursion Damn. and the instructor had to hold on to my horse's reins the whole time and i was just bawling my eyes out the whole time Ooh, i was so I feel that. scared. I don't know why. I'm just terrified of horses. Because they could do whatever they want. Exactly. Yeah. Like, I like hate giving my control to something. Exactly. Like I have to like feel in control. Mm -hmm. Like that's like so scary. And there's me. no brakes, you know? Yeah. There's no like kill switch. <laughs> <laughs> if the, the fucking thing wants to run off and do a backflip, you're done. I was so sore. So my crazy. butt was and they so wait. sore too the next day. Yes. Oh, wow. oh. Mm -hmm. yes, my vagina, it felt like I just got pounded. It does. It, it, does. Was, <laughs> it, it was does. insane. That's wild. Did you ever get an injury? Well, back when you were doing corn? Mm, no, not really. No? Uh-uh. Like a sore jaw afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> I took the I took the largest uh, penis in the industry. What? Really? It's like probably... Oh my God, I think I saw this. I'd say it's like this thick. It's a mudbone, what's his name? Uh, yeah. Dread. Dread is his Dread. name. It's like this thick and like this long. Was and, he a nice guy? Oh, super, super nice. Yeah. One of the nicest people I've ever worked with. But I had to mentally prepare for that scene. Wow. Did you do any like actual like physical preparation or did you just like I winged it? It, it was wild. a mental thing. Yeah. I just anal had to know. Hell no. I've yeah. never done anal. Wait, really? Uh uh, never. Wait, you ever in your entire life? Mm -mm. I just did anal this guy. week. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, I randomly did anal. She's in do her you anal prep era. though? Okay, I'm in my anal era. <laughs> do you prep? <laughs> What? I'm not in my anal era. <laughs> Honestly, no, no, no. I, I didn't prep. You didn't. But I, it wasn't people like do like the anal, 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 you know. The emina. Yeah. Emina or whatever they're called. Wait, Mom, yeah. skip this one if you're watching. Who was the guy? <laughs> what? Yeah, who was the guy? You could announce it now. Soft launch him. No. <laughs> That's how soft This is our show. Him. This is our <laughs> like, If we just said anal, just like a soft launch. Like, you know, that'd be a hard launch. Do I know who it is? Is it the... I don't know. If you is know it the you, guy that I'm yeah, thinking of? It's the guy you're from thinking of. Yeah. So, but don't put that in. No, no. Uh, don't put that hints. in. No. No hints. No nothing. It gotcha. was just like fun, random. Yeah. You know, like a Tuesday. Never had one like, of those. type of thing. That's crazy. I think you'd like it. Fun. You think I would? Yeah, it's fun. Have but you it's... ever done anal? I don't like to talk about this stuff. I really. <laughs> uh, look, I've done a lot in my life. I mm -hmm. went through a lot of phases. I've tried pretty much every drug. You know, I've hung out with all every different hole. walks of life and people huh yeah, i said you've tried every hole tried most yeah most <laughs> holes yeah should we hit a weather segment should we just get the weather out of the way oh jesus christ that was loud Sorry. 
stupid segment. Oh, what? Hey guys, <clears throat> how's it going? Wow, um, all right. For, uh, I just wanted to give a seven day forecast for the LA and Orange County area for you guys, if you don't mind. That's so um, hot. What's with the change of attitude? Is this sarcasm? What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I just, I just feel like you're up to something. What is this forecast and where did you get it? Where's it from? Right, so tomorrow we're expecting a high of 75 and a low of 51. So That's so hot. It's like a perfect beach day, you know? All right. Nice. And then on, on Friday, a little bit colder, a little bit chillier. You might want to bundle up. It's so fucking hot. hot. 71, uh, low of 54. <clears throat> Seems pretty consistent there. Yeah, we could we could wrap it up there. Why don't you let us know about that haircut that you got there. What the fuck do you want from me? You bitch if I don't do the weather, and now you're bitching that I'm doing the weather. I don't understand. What do you want from me? Uh, the weather is what I wanted. You did it. Okay. We got it. We got when it. Can I get back to the fucking weather? Do you mind? I want to know why he got that silly haircut. What happened? What happened to you? Because my barber fucked me up because he has one fucking good eye. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Enough. Is that what you wanted to do? No. I wanted to be professional because we have a guest in the building. You want to introduce yourself? Hi. Hi. <laughs> Wait, her or me? Tell her your name. His name's Weatherman. Nice right. to meet you. I'm, I'm Skylar. I'm Ryan. My name's Ryan. Nice to meet you. I love that name. Thanks. So Sunday. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, this is pretty super hot. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what I wanted to talk to you about? My fucking chair. Dude, I'm My... having a moment. I'm having a moment. What are you doing? Can I have your moment? Go for it. Thank you. <laughs> so, uh, Monday. But it's gonna be probably just as hot. Nice. I wish it was. Uh, I wish it, that we had rain this week. So it could get wet. Weird, bro. Too, <laughs> nah. No. Oh. Too I, I was rooting for you too, bro. <laughs> He, uh, off. he went off screen. <laughs> On when, uh, what? Nothing. Uh, Wednesday is going to be 69. Um, Who's that? Nothing. I'm not, talk I'm not talking to girls online. So your mom? Um, I, have to go. I have to go. I have to go. Actually? I have, I have to go. No, but I don't want you hanging up on me. That's not how it goes over here. The fuck? <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> I didn't like that. I loved every second of it. <laughs> I have feelings huh? for him. He's getting what? he's getting replaced. All right, today's episode is sponsored by Fume. Cold turkey may be great on sandwiches, but there's a better way to break your bad habits. We're not talking about some weird mind voodoo from your crazy neighbor or some weird patches or gum candy or stuff. You know, this is the real deal. We're talking about our sponsor Fume, and they look at the problem a different way. Not everything in a bad habit is wrong. So instead of a drastic, uncomfortable change, why not just remove the bad from your habit? Fume is an innovative, award-winning device that does just that. Instead of electronics, Fume is completely natural, and instead of vapor, Fume uses flavored air. And instead of harmful chemicals, Fume uses all natural, delicious flavors. You get it? Instead of bad, Fume is good. It's a habit you're free to enjoy and makes replacing your bad habit easy. Your Fume comes with an adjustable airflow dial and is designed with movable parts and magnets for fidgeting, giving your fingers a lot to do, which is helpful for de-stressing anxiety while breaking your habit. I personally love Fume. You know, I just pop it out anytime, no fire necessary. You could, you know, have it inside. All it is is flavored air. It tastes good. And and it's not bad for you. And plus, it makes you look cool. Stopping is something we all put off because it's hard. But switching to Fume is easy. Fume has served over 100,000 customers and has thousands of success stories. And there's no reason that can't be you. Join Fume in accelerating humanity's breakup from destructive habits by picking up the journey pack today. Head to tryfume.com and use code Jeff to save 10% off when you get the journey pack. That's tryfume, F U M dot com. That's T R Y F U M dot com and use code Jeff to save an additional 10% on your order today. That's tryfume.com slash Jeff to save an additional 10% on your order today. All right, thank you, Fume, for sponsoring the show. I was real excited for this episode. So we put out a picture of you guys and we said, let's take some video submissions. Some quick oh, shit. Damn. Damn. Uh, do you ever have an impulsive thought? 
I thought, uh, yeah, of course. And that was one of them. Intrusive. <laughs> yeah. Impulsive. Impulsive? What did you just say? <laughs> <laughs> Make impulsive decisions. <laughs> You want me to do the third podcast of the care. day? I don't care. I didn't Fuck correct this you. Fuck this shit. I want to be a barista. <laughs> I'm done. I'm sorry. I'm Stop sorry. that. Stop that. That's disrespectful to the baristas. What is a barista? The person what that works that? in a coffee shop and oh. makes coffee and, and like lattes or espressos or whatever. That sounds relaxing. Nice and... And no, it doesn't. It, it sounds like good. hectic. People coming in the morning. I want this. Three shots of fucking on ice and soy milk. And you know, you got to remember all that. You work at a coffee shop in like Utah. Oh my God. It's awesome. It's a sick feel. No, nah, bro. People come in in the morning. They're cranky. And you if you make it wrong, people. then they bitch at you. Not nice. Like Mormon people. Sign me up. <laughs> Think about it. Get the fuck out of here. You guys have the life. You know, every I'm time kidding. I hear about some I'm like. Kidding. I'm in the business. You know, I do stuff like Patreon. I used to sell fucking drugs. And I still hear like, oh, this girl makes how much yeah. on fans? What? Yeah. I want to fucking blow my brains out. I'm no kidding. I'm really kidding. You know what kidding. I mean? It's just part of the game, you know? You can't be worrying about what's in other people's pockets. No, for sure. <laughs> you got to be worried about yourself. <laughs> Are you guys going to Coachella? <laughs> nice, Stephen. Thanks for getting me so out of that. Just holding that. <laughs> I was about to fucking... <laughs> Well, I'm I have so a good follow-up for that. It's just my third podcast. I, there's nothing up here, man. Um, <laughs> Three podcasts in a day. Why are you doing so many podcasts? I, I ju it's just like scheduling. It somehow fucking happened, and it's like you know, it just takes a lot of like energy and thoughts. You have to really think things, and I'm just I've got no more of it left. You know, um, it happens. Coachella. Let's, let's, talk, let's talk. Let's talk Coachella. <laughs> We're all staying in the same house together. Should be fun. I was telling her to come today. I'm not going to Coachella. I'm going to Penn State to film a YouTube video. I have 10 life-size uh, body pillows of myself that I'm going to be handing out to kids on campus and, and doing some man on the street type That's stuff. funny. That'll be yeah. funny. <laughs> I just know the college boys go fair, like yeah. literally come in their pants, yeah. like it's, which is so fun. Mm -hmm. It's really, really fun. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be cool. Why Penn State? Is it because that's where you're from? Uh, Yeah. That's where like most of the people from my high school ended up going. So do you have like a high school fling that you'd still fuck? Hell no. Really? Hell no. No, not Damn. at all. I didn't lose my virginity till I was 18. So like out oh, wow. of high school. Nice. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's Good respectable. You, have you ever gone back <laughs> to the Target? Oh, yeah. Every time I go back to my hometown, I, you I go to the Target. Yeah, I do. That's yeah. nice. Uh -huh. I always That's go back sweet. to my old barber shops. Uh huh. It's just nice to. Is it like check a flex in. when you walk in? Is it uh, like I'm just like too cool for this place? Yeah, now? it is a little bit, but also you know you like to just go in. Yeah, I guess it's a flex. It's the only reason why you go. That's the only reason why I go. Yeah, <laughs> sure. No, but like yeah. for me it was different because I grew up in barber shops. Like I, right. I literally learned who I was like in there and with like all my all the other guys were older <laughs> and you know I, I learned mm -hmm. you know how to be a man from being in a barber shop. <laughs> yeah. I like yeah. going back to Target because some of my old employees Fuck. still, co-workers still work there. And so I like visiting them because they were, I worked there for three years. So they were like family. So sometimes I visit my old street corners. <laughs> <laughs> Would you consider yourself a sex worker? Um, On the side, side hustle? Part time, sometimes a little, but like, I don't ever want to like shit on the actual. I'm not shitting you, on it. No, I, no, but I'm saying if I was like, I'm a sex worker. Like, I don't really think that. I think that's kind of like demeaning to people who actually do that as a full time job. I think job it sounds cool. Really I like saying it's sex worker. Like, that sounds It's dope. hot. Like, it's a hot thing to say. Mm -hmm. That's like the equivalent says, like, of like oh. drug dealer for a guy, you know? Yeah. Sex worker. Like, whoa. <laughs> he tried. He tried. It was a swing. It was a miss. I like, I see where he's coming from. You don't know what I'm saying? Like, I, it's I mean, just like, I oh, man. Like, it, I know you meant it like, oh, it's cool, but it sounds a little like. Like drug dealers really scummy, you know. Like I don't. I think sex worker is like a, it's You're a profession. Not really. It's, you could be like a legal. drug trafficker. Look at Boston George wearing mm -hmm. cool outfits in the seventies, dealing millions of dollars of cocaine. <laughs> Who's Boston George? I was just gonna <laughs> say, who is that? <laughs> no one's a guy that, you know that, that was, was responsible for uh, like just, seventy-five percent we of the cocaine. You're just going along with it. <laughs> I'm talking like big money drug traffickers, you know, like that. Because you're on the level now of that, mm. you know, with the amount of drug trafficking. Yeah, the amount of money that you're uh, pulling in uh, mm, from okay. this hustle. Mm -hmm. Still swinging. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. big time shit. <laughs> yeah. Tana, what are you laughing at? Ask her questions about the, her profession, her career, her, her passions. If you were... <laughs> so you're saying she's a big time... If you were dating someone... I, this is my favorite question. I just have to, it tells me so much about a person. And you already know what I'm going to ask her. I just, it's like, I just, it's all that's on my mind at yeah. all times. 
you were dating someone for two years and they were the love of your life and you loved them so much and you wanted to be with them forever and they were just they were your everything and they were your world and you were fucking all the time and you found out they were your cousin your direct cousin first cousin would you stay with them First cousin yeah, a little first. iffy. Second cousin probably could make it work. But you're already in yeah. First, yeah. Is that legal though? Like, if you wanted to like get married, no you can't legal, marry your first cousin. No one's gonna know. <laughs> Depends on the state. Can you? Yeah, I'm sure Maryland. I don't are, know. You guys are good. Okay. That's <laughs> that's hard because if you're like soulmates. Well, yeah, okay, that's what I'm saying. When you started, when you got together, did you know you were cousins no, no, already? Not at all, so not you at just all. randomly found out. Yeah. Two that's years really in. Really fucked. Maybe. I would I, stay. I feel like I would probably stay, but I think eventually it would get to me that That's, we're first cousins, and then that would create a, mm, like a riff. Yeah, and imagine you had a kid and it had like one eye. Oh. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> Incest, maybe. Damn. I didn't mean that like that. I was thinking like Cyclops shit. But uh, you know, I wish it was a joke. Has anybody ever called funny, you like was... Cyclops, like all sweet? Yeah, yeah. My old co-host, the Cyclops. guy that he replaced, he, mm. he used to call me that. We got rid of him, so keep yeah. saying it. Watch what happens. <laughs> Look, I get it. Today I would replace the shit out of me, bro. No, 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 I'm no, not no, giving. no, no. You're good. Um, Steven has some girl stuff going on in his life. No, wait, and don't, don't say that. Really? He no. was gonna. Don't put that out there. Can I hear? Okay, so uh, just uh, say Sky uh, Skyler was your cousin. Same question to you. You found out that Skyler was your cousin after being with her for two years. Would you stay with her? If we're, I'm already in that deep, yeah. Look at her when you say it. Sorry. <laughs> So you don't have to. I'm just fucking around. <laughs> or talk about this or talk about the, the stuff that's going on. Can he's I know? Gonna do, he's going to do... His plan is to do Molly at Coachella. He's nervous about it. I'm so but, nervous. It's my first time ever. Really? Oh, wow. Yeah. You're going to love it. Well, he just watched a video before you this. you do it with me, Jeff? No. I would love to see you on Molly. I just know you're going to profess your love to me. I'm so excited. <laughs> that would be funny if I did that. And then the drugs were off and I'm like, whoa, what the fuck? Yeah. What the fuck was I thinking? <laughs> That's good, what Molly makes you do though, right? Like <laughs> yeah. we all like lovey and touchy. Oh yeah. 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 Super yeah. happy. Yeah, but I was just watching a video on it before we started this and apparently it gives you like a severe anxiety before it hits. Really? I don't want that. I'll freak the fuck out. Well, yeah, because things are like, changing in your body. Your and you gotta get into it's an upper. It. So like all uppers kind of do that. Some of you like shit. Or and you want to fight it. Up. You want to fight it initially, and Ugh. once you get to the point where you're like, you just, you know, you just embrace it. And you just I go feel like that's flow. if you take a lot. Start off little. Yeah, take I've a never done amount. it though. Yeah. So I don't know. <laughs> I just read this online. <laughs> yeah. I want to take a lot of mushrooms at Coachella. I'm gonna get weird on mushrooms. Those are fine for to sure. do. I mean, I'll probably just do a little bit of mushrooms while I'm out there. If I was like really half Molly and I just tickled you or something, you wouldn't hit me, right? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> he tickled you back. Yeah. <laughs> Have you guys? Oh, um, just, oh, that's weird. Speaking of you hitting just Jeff, each other. That was good. Good transition right Thank there. Thank you. Yeah, he fucked my neck up bad. So Jeff and I had a shoot to shoot this video we shot the other day, and it was planned for last week. Expensive, thousands of dollars, fully planned out. Like, I'm so excited. I woke up, I got so ready. I'm like, yes, like, I'm shooting this video with Jeff. Yay, yay. And then I'm in the car, and it's like an hour and a half before, and he, he's like, I can't make it. And I'm like, oh, sick. No, I didn't say and that. I said emergency. <laughs> broke my neck. Steven broke my neck. <laughs> and i need to postpone that was what i said i was like i absolutely cannot move i was in bed like this just looking mm. straight up i felt so old and i was not ready to get flamed with those jokes old man old man i can't i still can't really turn i have to go like this yeah it's still a little fucked up was that kind of a good feeling for you though I'm like sure. on the low no, i got scared because i had like a i was i was on top where like I was winning, essentially, wrestling him, right? Okay. I, <laughs> I, I got scared I had full risk control. I had him down. I wasn't in danger was at all. But then when true. the neck hurt, it, I called it. But it wasn't like a win. Uh, whatever. You could have it. It's a doctor stoppage. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't Dude, stop, like, stop, like, stop, I don't want to win. No, but I was like getting scared that he would like, hit me or something if I like go to like if i like actually win i did yeah but then like seeing it, him kind of walk around off. for like a day you know and he's like oh my neck like were you like <laughs> you know? yeah that's yeah. so kind of yeah yeah it's are you good. fine now is it healed it's good <laughs> the neck is weird when you get like when you pinch something mm -hmm. i don't know maybe mm -hmm. you guys are you're gonna fucking call me old but whatever i am no you know? my How old are you? 33 are you really mm -hmm. i would guess 28 okay that's good thank you <laughs> but yeah, I have the neck of a 33 year old. You know, I might have the looks so in the face I. of a 28 year old, but yeah, my neck's all jacked up. And I went to the batting cages because I'm big into baseball right now, as you can see from the my like third base coach look. 
Um, so we, were, we went to hit balls and we got a little excited. We went to the, the 80 mile an hour one and we were whacking them and I, I felt something get fucked up. And then we went inside to this arcade. This sounds so embarrassing, this story with these kids. I'm hanging out with kids and we went into our arcade. Kyle threw a basketball at me and then I jumped to get to like hit it and I heard it, it there. Even touch you and you, you got hurt. <laughs> yeah, I just jumped and moved it and I fucking, I knew something. I knew I was out for a month. I was about to text you then, three days before. Are you I'm just saying this though so it sounds like less bad, like that Stephen then hurt you? Like you're like, oh my God, like my neck was, was already fucked up. It was a series of events up. that led to a drunk Stephen with his R <laughs> word strength. Damn, I got drunk too. I was shocking like <laughs> six white claws like the second we got back to my place. Absolutely. <sighs> As you should. It's better than me tomorrow. Yeah, he gets hammered and then he's fighting me drunk. Mm -hmm. You know, so he don't feel any pain. I made like a spear out of this wood with a knife just in the middle of the living room. But the injured thing's kind of hot. You know, like a girl loves to be like, oh my God, like can I take care? of you like mm -hmm. you know it's like it's like a good let me nurse you back to hell yeah like it's a good segue and did you get any like pity blow drums i wasn't even in the mood to like joke around and be funny like when my eyes stitch shut like i'll still be on drugs and like fucking around and having a good time yeah but no this is bad i I'm genuinely sorry. had to cancel and then we did the video and it was great yeah it's it really so much funny. fun crazy i learned so much about you did you what'd you learn it's everything <laughs> so nothing <laughs> <laughs> no i i know what you're like what you're embarrassed about now like what your insecurities are oh yeah because if you didn't want to answer the the deep question you had to eat some nasty food like a oh, wow. like a bull penis or something so she kept eating the food mm -hmm. so, so now, now i know i, my, like, I know triggers. i know like um your last sex message with can oh. i say oh yeah they wanted me to read my last text messages with and yeah. I was like, that's wow, that was good, Oscar. No, she um. didn't want to do that, so she <laughs> took a shot of bird saliva, which I don't even know how they get. Ew, Ew. What the heck? You did yeah. that? Just going up yeah. to a bunch of birds and just It wasn't yeah. good. I'm dying to know that text. It's nothing. It was like just nothing. But it's just like <laughs> how recent was it? Embarrassing. The most recent one. Oh, come on. <laughs> Is it like no, actually recent? I sent one probably like a month and a half ago that he did not respond to that was really embarrassing and then before Ooh. that it was a conversation probably a couple weeks before that mm. is this and tense then, right now to talk because you guys both have history with him i won't put that in wait, if you don't that, want no is that the eskimo that's the eskimo care, that's no. eskimo yeah. right no yeah. it's not why would it all right bring him in call him in all right today's episode is sponsored by manscaped manscaped is here with a deal you can't pass over this easter season they've got the tools to give you the beautifully decorated eggs of your dreams manscaped you know they manscaped is funny man just because it's easter doesn't mean it's okay to hide those bad boys behind all that tall grass so make sure your downstairs lawn is mowed get yourself feeling as sweet as candy by going to manscaped.com slash Jeff's Barbershop. I know this is Jeff FM here, but it's the same. I'm the same person from both shows. We have a long-term partnership with Manscaped, and we love them. So use the same link. You can click it down in the description, manscaped.com slash Jeff's Barbershop. It's time to put all your eggs into the perfect basket with the Performance Package 4.0 by Manscaped. Inside this ball care bunny basket, you'll find their lawnmower 4.0 trimmer, weed whacker 2.0, ear and nose trimmer, crop preserver ball deodorant, crop reviver toner, performance boxer briefs and travel bag to hold all your goodies the lawnmower 4.0 is an elite electric trimmer it has the preparity advanced skin safe technology that is designed to trim hair on loose skin so you don't snip your nuts the easter bunny dropped off an extra special gift with performance package by adding the upgraded weed whacker 2.0 ear and nose hair trimmer which helps reduce nicks snags and tugs in those delicate nose and ear holes this package also comes with their crop preserver ball deodorant and crop reviver ball toner yeah you heard that right this is a ball deodorant that can change your life. April is Easter, but it's also Testicular Cancer Awareness Month. Manscaped is partnered with the Testicular Cancer Society to bring awareness to testicular cancer, men's health, and early cancer detection. Manscaped is committing to raising awareness for the most common form of cancer in men age 15 to 35 and giving support for fighters and families impacted by their testicular cancer as part of their We Save Balls. Thank you, Manscaped, for sponsoring the show. Go to manscaped.com slash Jeff's Barbershop. That's manscaped.com slash Jeff Barbershop for 20% off plus free shipping. Thank you, Manscaped, for sponsoring the show. Now, back on with it. Let's take a caller. This guy really wanted to call in. He's a big fan. Yo, what's going on, man? Stop. Welcome to... Hi. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? Wow. No. I, 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 oh. Sorry, I got Scott, bad eyes. I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan. I've been so for so long. Oh, my God. Is that Thank you, you on so the wall? much. Yeah. <laughs> what the... Hi. How are you guys doing? We're good, doing man. Good. How are you? How are you doing? 
Hi, uh, you shut up, you shut up. What's up, Sky? <laughs> Hi, how are you? With a fucking um, name on the wall, great. you know? I'm great. I need those uh, on my wall. <laughs> Tell us. You're pretty cute. <laughs> what, what kind of guys are you into? I like guys with curly hair. Can you do me, you do me a favor, Steven? <laughs> can you go over there and... Can you go over to this guy and tell me what it smells like? <laughs> you do smell nice. Do I really? Yeah. Thank you. I, I don't know if it was you or Tana, but I mean, Tana comes here all the time and, you know, it doesn't smell like that. It's hard. When she walks sure. in, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, we were shooting vans earlier and I was like, do I smell bad? <laughs> <laughs> Your face um, was like in my ass. I've been sweating all day. I was like, hold on. <laughs> I heard this from some. I heard this from somewhere. I don't know if it's true, but this guy, do you like, um, do you like Harry Potter by chance? I love Harry Potter. You? Okay. okay Massive me fan. Too. Me too, me too, me too. And you like Star Wars too? I've never seen Star Wars. I'm sorry. Should I? Uh, no, it's lame. It's lame? Yeah. I never watched a single Star Wars. He's not into me anymore. That was it? That was a deal breaker? You got some taste, kid. That shit ain't gonna work. You're gonna <laughs> you know, have to... I was really like... I was really feeling it and shit. I was really feeling you. I even have diagrams. I was trying to kind of calculate the circumference of your ass and everything just based off reference images. What the fuck? Uh, you know what? You know one time. Are you in I your closet? No. Is that your cl uh, closet shrine? Listen. <laughs> one time I started a OnlyFans, or not OnlyFans. I started a GoFundMe, and I said that my grandma, my grandma was um, my grandma got into like a car wreck, which is true. And like I've been collecting the donations, and I was gonna ask if 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 you could say my name. And I'm willing to give you all the money, Sky. I don't need you to give me your money. No, I'm. I you don't Better need than I. I'll give do the money you to your grandma. Me. Why don't you give the money yeah. to your fucking grandma? Yeah, why would you okay, give it to okay. me? You dirtbag no, so scamming people on. <laughs> go fund me. My name, Sky. Wait, what was your name again? Diego. Diego. You just want me to say Diego? <laughs> I love you, Diego. <laughs> <laughs> and damn, that's really a shame that you don't like snuggles. I'm sorry. My, I have a dance coming up for school in the springtime because I'm a senior in high school and my friends oh, always like- fuck. <laughs> How old are you? I'm 18. Okay, good. Yeah. I called you cute, so I just wanted to make sure. Yeah, no, it's all good. But I was wondering like, cause my friends are, <laughs> uh, <laughs> we got it. Off shit for being like single, and they all got girlfriends. So I was wondering, like, I don't know if you would like want to like go to, to dance with me. That'd be nice if you did that. That'd look, be, be like a cool <sighs> YouTube video. Carolina, you could vlog that. Honestly, I think a high school prom is probably the last place that I should be allowed. I don't think that they would let me in. Oh, you're saying like the faculty would be like, nope, she does yeah. corn. She used to be a corn yeah. farmer. Yeah. <laughs> on a farm in Maryland. Oh, he's going to kill himself. Sorry. Do it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, think be, I, think be, I think you'd be fine over there. That'd be cool if you did that. I'm going to just keep walking until I lose reception. <laughs> Damn. What do you got, Starlink? That Elon Musk Wi Fi? He docks himself. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, your Wi Fi is actually. We're losing you. Go back and stem. <laughs> was that it? That's how he walked off the show? It's kind of it's kind a dope way to walk that off. That was cool. That was know? iconic, honestly. Yeah. That was sick. <laughs> that was beautiful. I love that. You that want us to follow up with him? Uh, Yeah, sure. <laughs> not at all. Just make sure he's okay. Let's check on him. He's probably not. <laughs> we lost okay. I, don't, I don't know. I have no idea. Bless his heart. Did you get questions on Discord? Yeah, give us the questions off Discord. Uh, I didn't get questions off Discord, but I have people who want to call in. Just a bunch of dick pics. <laughs> kind of fun. We could rate them. They want a dick rating? Yeah, we do that. Go ahead, so pull it up. Oh. Nobody sent in the dick. No, I mean. Damn, how fun. I was so excited. How fun. <laughs> Take uh, some back there in the bathroom. <laughs> oh, who do you man. think is the biggest dick of all of the Jeff FM crew? I don't want to talk about that. Can I please have an that. answer? Steven, Can I please Steven, have an answer? Steven. <laughs> Steven. <laughs> Did you ever see Stevens? No. no. You haven't heard about this? No. Whoa. Can you show us a picture? No. Don't pull it up. <laughs> I'm not. 
<laughs> Who act- I'm serious. Is it Steven? We never had a dick measure in contest. You didn't compare? Like, no. all just, like, stand next no. to each other? No, we're not. But, like, who do we think, you know? Let's let's ha- let's play a game. Let's play a game. Get hard. Whip who gives off, like, big dick <laughs> energy? <laughs> I'm trying to think. <laughs> okay, cool who guy. The big- I- it was a serious question. <laughs> cool guy over here. I mean, just... Go off based on personality. <laughs> is that a real thing that what Ariana Grande said about Pete Davidson? Like you could tell in a guy? I think a lot of times you can. If they're super tall and skinny, for oh, sure. Oh my God, it's always, for sure. it's always. Yeah. But so I was telling a guy this the other day. I was like, the like a their archetype, like what that you know what mm-hmm. I mean, like their height, like all that type. Of, you can usually tell what type of dick someone has. The and feet play and, into it. Is it shoe size or is that a myth? I feel like maybe that could, but I really feel like you can look at someone and like guess, and I feel like 80% of the time you're right. There's obviously always the anomaly, you yeah. know what I mean? Did you ever but date like, a guy with small feet? I don't yeah. think I don't Like think you could I wear, have. wear your shoes, like you could share shoes? Probably. <laughs> I've dated a guy with a small dick, a couple Who? of them. Me too. Yeah. Who's so mean? Okay. But you know. You'd be surprised though, because sometimes like the smaller, scrawnier guys, they'll pull down their pants and they have like a whole arm in there. Yeah. Like Kyle. Like making up for the height. I would, <laughs> I would put Kyle up there if I had to yeah. guess. If I had to guess, I would say Kyle's. If I had to guess, that would, that's my guess. I would say too, Kyle. Honestly. I would say Kyle has a very Damn, good Damn, Kyle. <laughs> nice. Nice use of that fucking air horn. Hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think, yeah. I would go Kyle. Maybe with the, but I could see Oscar like just low key being packy. <laughs> definitely girthy. Oscar, I was just gonna say sure. the girth the is definitely ne- there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, this is so inappropriate. Should yeah, we call it HR? Over. It's just Paige outside. They actually talked to me the other day, like HR. They were like, "Hey, you got to stop uh, striking your employees." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, sir, I'm getting really sick of you hitting me. Just like, God, please stop. <laughs> Ow. You know, can we actually talk about this Coachella trip? Because there's we have some obligations, we're going to be working out there the whole time. It's no fun on the trip. I know we talked about doing I'm right off 75 hard, I could be scary. Do you have your outfits picked out yet? I don't. I'm gonna wear some um assless chaps one day though, so that's gonna be fun. Wow, damn, excited. (laughs) Uh, you know, yeah, I'm I'm, I'm excited for all of us to have a nice bond. No, I meant for my assless chaps. Yeah. He's going to sneak a peek. Um, No, we have a lot of things to do out there. And Mm -hmm. one of them, one of the requirements is we have to do like a blind date, like a blind dating, like speed dating thing. So you're cool with that, right? You're single? Like you're blind and then. No, we're not dating. (laughs) You're not dating me. We're dating other people. Oh my God. Yes. I'm so excited for that. Yeah. That's incredible. We're working with Summer, the app, the dating app. They're sponsoring. And like real people in person Mm -hmm. are going to come? Yeah. To. uh, our well, if they're house. on the app, if they're on summer, then they're going to come. Well, they're going to come. Ha- they're going to come. Yeah. Mm. From us. <laughs> <In the air. laughs> no, no. We're just doing it at the house. It's a summer house. I don't know if there's an amount of money, but I guess, I guess. I'll, no, we I'll... don't have to have sex. I was kidding about that part. We just go, go on dates. Just <laughs> no, meet I them. didn't mean the sex. <laughs> I meant the dates. But you pick them and it's, it's a cooler dating app because you could see their profile. You see where they're at. I'm going to use it to find love. I need, yeah. I need this. I'm not yeah. going to find a girl on fucking TikTok to date. Yeah. You know? Coachella or, is where you find the love of your life. Mm. Yeah, I did for last like year. I, I dated the girl. For, for me, a, it's where you break up with the love of your life. Mm. Really? Yeah. Why? Because you see other, like, this is what I can have. and I'm, I don't know. Coachella just brings out a side of people. Like, I've had a breakup at Coachella. It was actually one of the craziest breakups of my life. It really was. I was dating my boyfriend and we were at Coachella and he was just like being awful. And then I was over it and I tried to break up with him at our Coachella house. He tried, I'm trying to say this nicely. He tried to like himself people called the police and they put him on a 51 like 50 a real one or a cry for help i think it was like attention maybe attention. he's he's grown and healed now but they had to put him on a 51 50 hold and he was like in the psych ward in india and then i was just like day three sunday <laughs> oh my god <laughs> yeah it was like pretty crazy damn yeah um, have you ever gone? I've never been to Coachella now. So you're not I going this year? Go. What the heck? Mm-mm. It's a good time, but we just like at this point, we're just going like an influencer trip to go shoot a bunch of stuff. Yeah, you know? it's gonna, it's intense. It's right. you come back feeling like death. How too. many days is it? Is it three? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's see, three. 
I don't even go out anymore. And when I do go out, I need like a week to recover 100%. afterwards. So I don't think I could do a three day music festival, but oh maybe next year. I saw that Frank Ocean's on the lineup. Yo. Yeah. And that I'm really sad about, yeah. but I don't know. That's all I'm excited for, like yeah. to see performer wise for right, sure. Yeah. I just know you're going to get sick when you come back and somehow find a way to blame me. And I'm already like preparing for that. No, 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 no. I'm not going to I get believe sick. it. It's I mean, every time, every time he goes on a trip with me, he he gets sick, and then I feel great, and then I get blamed. Yeah, maybe that will happen, <laughs> you know, and it will be your fault because you're going back to drunk. I'm not gonna say sl- I was gonna say sloppy, but I'm gonna be messy, sloppy. messy, yeah. drunk, messy, yeah. Tana, and I don't I don't know what to expect. I do know what to expect, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I did. I'll get leave to see you it. alone. I'll, I'll like project that energy onto like Mike or something, someone else. No, you're not gonna, because you're not gonna be in control. You're gonna be a fucking maniac. <laughs> pretty, pretty, pretty. <laughs> no, like, I won't. We didn't, we, I didn't really hang out with you a lot back when you were boozing and and boozing partying is and crazy. Stuff. He's eighty. Yeah, yeah. You you were boozing. <laughs> you were boozing big time. I've never heard that word. <laughs> I'm going to unalive myself. 5150 me after this fucking podcast. Oh my God. Imagine after Coachella, Jeff, just that happens again. Then then the problem would be me, okay? That's it's not something that can happen twice. Yeah. I would really have to like look inward if that happened twice. It's been three months and we our friendship has grown a lot in those three months, Tana and I. Mm-hmm. You know, before this was a work relationship, you mm-hmm. know, it's all for Now it's like a real friendship. Yeah, it's gotten real because... She's present in her brain. She's right. no longer numbing herself and her emotions and her it's feelings. Been Seventy-four days. Seventy-four days. She's been sharp. She's yeah. been working. She's mm-hmm. she's. Her I'm bi- not gonna throw it all out the window. I think I'm still gonna be a good girl. Yeah. Okay. Except for when I'm fucked up and fucking awful. So you're no, gonna have I'm one kidding. one nice weekend to enjoy yourself, mm-hmm. see what you were missing out on, mm-hmm. and then you get back to work. Mm-hmm. I think yes. I think you'll be fine. I think I'll be fine. The one time we did kind of take a trip together when you were drinking. When I was boozing. Whatever. You were... So fun. (laughs) I got a room next to you. Uh Remember? We had like separate... Yes, I remember. I wasn't on heroin. (laughs) You came back to my room. I was having fun with Josie. You were screaming in my face. You were like, wake up, wake up. That never happened. Paige was there. Paige was in the room. Those are... The voices in your head. And I just smelled the, the tequila. <laughs> <laughs> you were but off an ambient. Then, You're, you were off an ambient and you just don't and remember I still clearly. remember it. Nope. I still remember it perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> he still remembers the smell of the tequila. I was just, I was having fun, Jeff. You know, I'm 24. Um, maybe when I'm 33, I'll chill out. No, okay, I get it. I get it. I'll be good. I'll be so... Ugh, I'll like be I said, good. I didn't ask you to stop drinking. I never even suggested it. I... I know you got your life under control. I'll be good mm-hmm. at Coachella. You said you don't drink or party at all, right? I don't party, but I drink a little bit. Like when I go out to dinner, I'll get wine or I have a white claw. Would you come with, with us to the house? Are you thinking about it or you already have this video? You can't go to do the video the following week? It's already planned. Yeah. Okay. All Maybe right. I'll think about it. I, no, that's no good. you that's guys good. are that's like good. making it sound so fun. I'm like, Fuck. and you know, it's just gonna be Jeff and Mike like screaming at us for three days. I feel like it's good. You need to be because if you want to go down this lane, you need to be around other content creators You're doing stuff. Her. Like, no, no, I'm not. I'm it's actually, showing. I'm actually. So <laughs> this is how I got into it. I never mm-hmm. thought I would. You be... You want to make it with the big dogs? Come stay in my house. Come at get trapped. Make you a big star. Make you a big star. Do you want to take a caller? Yeah, because goddamn caller. Hello. Hi. Welcome to Jeff FM. Hi. Oh my God. Hi. Is this the confession line? The bathroom boys yes, don't, don't tell me anything anymore. Honey confession. I've been waiting to share with Tana. Wow. Oh, wait. I'm so excited. I love the confessions, by the way. Just know it's like the highlight of every episode. First off, babe, babe, I just need to tell you, first off, I think I've been in love with you since I was like 11. Oh my. Well, just so you know, I've been watching you forever. I got banned from watching you when I was like 12. My dad found out and got really mad, and I kept doing it, you know, for the culture. I love you so we much. Also, uh, we also have uh, Skylar here. Today we have Sky Bree here today. Nice to meet you. Hi. Hi. Oh, you know, you're very gorgeous, girl. Thank you. We also got Steven over there in the corner. Hi. What's up, Steven? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I love you so much. Uh, What's yo, up, Dad? Hi, Steven. I love you. Uh, thank you. I love you too. <laughs> Let's go. I just my confession. I'm so excited. A couple years ago, um, I was hanging out with my best friend, and it was an interesting night. You know, I went to go hang out with my ex that night. 
Um, I'm hanging out with my ex tonight, ago. girl. Look oh at us go. God. Oh my gosh, same vibes. My ex has moved on now. It's very sad. God, kind of it's the worst. Moving, it, but moving on is so ugly. I was with him mm-hmm. and didn't work out that way. We ended up leaving there and I was hanging out with this other guy. Me and my best friend were hanging out with him and his friend. Mm-hmm. The movie Endgame was playing and I was giving him head while my best friend and her man were in the same room. Okay. And then he wouldn't come. We watched the entire game of Endgame and he did not come the entire time. Oh my God. Uh, I, I was wearing a weave at the time and he pulled out my weave in the process as well as uh, my earrings. If you haven't had uh, a hair extension come out during some fucking yeah. crazy sex and shit, have you even you do, put your all do? into it? Very true. That's you know, fine, right? But <laughs> my, my best friend and her man are right there hearing this whole thing and mm-hmm. watching things go down. And did, I left right after. I was scared. Did what? he? So he, did he not come? No, he couldn't. And I found out a couple weeks later that he was hooking up with another girl that I met and he wouldn't come for her either. He just can't come. He said it was the best head he ever had. He just can't come. It's, you know, Jeff deals with that. He has erectile dysfunction. Jeff. Is it? Yeah, I do. <laughs> and, no, um, Steven. I had to put you know, ad for her, so it, yeah. I always tell Jeff, you know, when I'm down there, I'm just like, it's not you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's the smell. I yeah. can't get over the smell. <laughs> no, um, we're making all this up. We're making- Everybody has these issues. It's okay. Yeah, and that, uh, that's what I always tell him, you know what I mean? And then sometimes we have to put on, you know, like weird videos and stuff so that he can. And it's like, maybe that's what the guy needed. What'd you think of the movie <laughs> i still haven't i still don't know what happened in it i still haven't i refuse to see it to this day i won't go back and watch it yeah same yeah. I don't, Marvel movies I, i'm not a fan memories. i'd be kind of i wouldn't want to go back and watch the movie because it would just remind me of that you know what i mean I right can't. like that was the running joke for like years after too is especially because like, the movie is called end game, game. <laughs> like which is yeah, all of like, like game. yeah like that's that's kind of ironic that was end game for you two yeah oh one time i was talking about it right in front of him and didn't realize he was there and he had overheard me and got very uncomfortable and i was like i'm so sorry maybe he came in his pants right then and there and you just didn't even know it it was just like a long delay right it was just a yeah. little yeah. little bit it just that's didn't really I, work out just tell yourself that and we'll just move on and i'm sure your head game is phenomenal especially if you've been watching me for a long time i just know we have that know, in common I so that i hear that that's word on the street around here in hollywood in these parts <laughs> that's, what, that's, what, that's going around it's a compliment that's nice yeah the, some the bitches who were raised on tana are just yeah. built different what? Who is this? Who are these guys? That's- I consider myself a throat goat. <laughs> and I've been with a few guys that I couldn't make them come. Uh, they probably they just, just don't probably sometimes. Like, and it's probably sad. just intimidated yeah, by you because, yeah, you know, like in their own head. you're a big yeah. deal. Yeah, I mean, I've been through like the guys with the whiskey dick and things like that, but like mm-hmm. the guy was the worst. Drinking, mm-hmm. So it's like, come on. Yeah, but honestly, girl, just get out there, suck a few more dicks. I believe in you. <laughs> I believe in you too, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I and appreciate it. I will I won't be watching Endgame ever in your honor because we just we're gonna put that movie to rest, okay? I love you. I love that so much. I love you, Tana. I really I hope you remember this call. I hope you Aww. I hope we meet someday. There were several times where we've almost ran into each other and we never did and it broke my heart. If we ever um, meet, come up to me and just say end game and I promise you, I, I promise you I will know. <laughs> it sounds like I raised you right, baby. Keep up the good work. Absolutely. Thank you, Tana. I love you so much. I hope you keep living your life. I I love you, beautiful. (laughs) Thank you. I I love love you forever. Next Next time Jeff can't come, I'll think of you. What is this fucking garbage you're spreading out there? (laughs) I really don't know. I'm sorry. Get out there and suck a few more dicks. I don't think you have erectile dysfunction. You also said I have an inverted penis on Twitter. Well, that, that, that again just goes back to your STD post. And I just, yeah. But it is inverted. So it's a little fucking weird. <laughs> you would love that. Imagine I took my pants off and there was nothing. It was like a mannequin. Yeah. Are you, uh, what's that word? A circumcised? Yeah. What do you guys think about that? Circum- circumcised? I prefer uncircumcised. Really? Is that where the skin's over? Because it's like natural from. Where there's extra skin, yeah. Wow. What about you? I have no preference. I don't know. Well, anything works. <laughs> I'll take them all. I'll take anything. <laughs> At the same time. <laughs> I really, I don't know. In the ears. I've only encountered a few uncircumcised dicks in my life. Is it not as common? I feel like it's usually a guy who's like British or Australian. Or, or Spanish guys. Yeah. I feel like a lot of time aren't circumcised. Spanish guys. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> uncircumcised gang, right? I mean, I don't even know. I don't, okay. I don't, I don't want to know. I don't know. Oh I have a girlfriend can't comment. Huh? I have a girlfriend can't comment. Good yeah, job. Go. Nice, Good nice, job. Nice, nice. Respectable bathroom mm-hmm. boys. Woo-hoo. Kyle got circumcised twice. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> they, they, this is so big. Just extra yeah. circumcised. <laughs> it's just all tip. Oh my God, yo. just removed the whole thing. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so, uh, Skyler, mm-hmm. you are a. What are you? Nationality? What is your? Where are you? What? Like your, your family? Where are they from? Oh, I'm Polish, German, the boring white shit. Yeah. Okay. And you? Do you have any plastic surgery? No, I'm all natural. Wow, that's crazy. Thank Congrats. you. Thank you. You're blessed. Thank you. <laughs> I have to pee. Yeah. Give me Go the for wine it. bottle. Go for it. Oh, you want to piss in the... <laughs> Does that work? Can girls in the bottle? Can girls do that? I have no idea. I've never tried that. I'm really pee shy. Weirdly, weird fact about me. Like, I'm... You know I'm crazy. Like, I'll, like, just, like, do anything. Do... Oh, my God, I have to pee. No, stop. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> stop, dead ass. <laughs> um, I'm really pee shy. I can't pee in front of anyone, ever. Like, and, like, everyone oh, has to be out of the you, room. you tried to pee in front of me. You couldn't... When did forever. I try to pee in front of you? <laughs> we were in, it was in New York. I think we were in a bathroom together one time and you were like, I'm pee shy. I'm so pee shy. Yeah. It's like a big part of my personality. Yeah. Like if you're in the room, you have to face the corner. Like, mm-hmm. Can you I, like, like porta potty? Hate porta potties. That's like a whole thing. And then I have to like really go to a different place in my head. Like I have to like be on like a beach or something like mm-hmm. in my head if I know, if I feel like anyone can hear me. Like even in my own house, I run the water even if I'm home alone. Mm-hmm. Just thought I'd share. Thanks, guys, for letting me get that off my chest. That's good. You want to go pee <laughs> while I ask Skylar about her her dream man, like what she what she's looking for in a man. Honestly, yeah, I'm gonna go pee. Wait, like this. You know, you don't have to describe like looks. Okay. Or, or no, do whatever you want. So I always say I don't have a type when it comes to looks. Any guy I've ever dated or slept with has been completely different from the next. I just like nice guys Mm -hmm. and that have something going for themselves. They don't have to be rich or anything, but as long as they have something that they're passionate about. Yeah, passion, yeah. And they have to dress cute. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a big thing. Those are good things. Yeah. I think that's nice. Yeah, I I just enjoy watching people that are passionate about whatever they do. It's attractive. It's It's sexy. Mm -hmm. Like, I love seeing them go out and get it. Like, it's, it's, I don't know, it's cute. Even watching videos. Like, if I see a podcaster that's, like, with a good crew, Mm -hmm. having fun, it's nice to watch. Right, yeah. And I like being able to support them and stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you want to be the one with with the money with the dough you want to be the one I don't want to be a sugar mama Mm -hmm. but he doesn't have to have as much money as me but like as long as we can like go maybe equal or like half on stuff yeah Yeah. and then you could boss him around yeah Yeah. wow that's cool this is the longest I've been single it's been kind of lonely actually you feel you're not like thriving in it no I was at first when I first moved to LA I was definitely hooking up with people having fun but I haven't really been hooking up with anyone, honestly. I can't remember the last time I hooked up with someone, honestly. Would you want to date a guy that's like in the industry, like a um, like in uh, social media or something, like a TikTok um, TikTok star? I think about that. I kind of would like a normal guy. I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Funny. <laughs> what about a fallen off TikTok guy? Don't make it about yourself, Steven. <laughs> That's a genuine question. Wait, I kind of missed uh, it. Oh, yeah. What if, it, I guess, out. like, what, what? I mean, if he's still passionate about it, then mm-hmm. that should be fine. Yeah. If, if his yeah. views aren't good, but he just still loves yeah. what he does. Yeah. That is, you know, that is cool. Mm-hmm. Fuck I, the numbers. I still am trying to get over my ex, though, from my hometown, to be honest. What Even was he passionate though, about? Nothing, really. <laughs> but. <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, did he have, like, a dog or something? He worked <laughs> construction. Did he like that? No, that's not. A f- no, he got fired for punching someone in the face. Oh, he likes fights. He likes fighting. Yeah. But okay, so the reason that I'm still kind of hung up on him is because um, he got a girl pregnant and the baby was just born. And it made me a little bit jealous because I was like, I feel like we probably would have had a baby yeah. together if I wouldn't have ever moved to LA. But I'm trying to move on. I feel Why like Mike has, that, Mike has that too with, his, with Lana. Because, you know, now they're like back hanging out and they do videos sometimes and like he's with the kid and you, know, you really <laughs> think he feels that way. We definitely talk about things like, you know, because we're we're older and this is around the age where, you know, you're starting a family or people have a family. What the fuck is this? You Mike doesn't me? want that out. You cut it off. Just, no, he <laughs> doesn't. Throw Mike a call. 
but um yeah so i i talk my mike's a lot older than me you know mm -hmm. a lot older than me mm -hmm. and um yeah i think he would like to have a family but also i'm sure people with families look at us and they're like you know damn that seems like a fun life you right, know yeah. you always want what you can't have mm -hmm. but um i think i'll i definitely will experience that in life i do want to mm -hmm. I'm, i've been thinking about getting a new dog lately because i need you to should. fill the void i need to like love something i need to have love in my life you, you know? should i got a golden retriever a few months ago and i love him so much oh yeah that's a great dog it's mm -hmm. like a perfect dog yeah. yeah i would put that dog in my number one um dog of the day really? my golden retriever is so fucking bad <laughs> yeah More than anything yeah he's i had one cute. when i was ernie was one and they all talk shit on him <laughs> Saying they're happy Ernie. he's dead. Was he named after Ernie? Like Bert and Ernie? <laughs> Ernie and Kyle, he said his dad had a dog. Yeah, I think so. I don't. It's I don't a funny name. Yeah, he said he had a dog that died, and his name was Ernie. And then me and Kyle like, couldn't hold it. Ernie he started laughing. <laughs> well, it was like, Ernie, like as in like his ashes. Like, is that why you were laughing? No, no it was Ernie. He had a long, straight. like, emotional story about it. They're immature. His name was Ernie. They're immature. Yeah, he hit it with a, hit us with his name was Ernie. They're immature, unintelligent. <laughs> That was funny. I'm sorry, you're talking. Circumcised <laughs> fucking boys, you know. <laughs> you know who I would date um, in the industry, though, for sure. I would date Mike. What? I thought you just said you. you, you, just like said you Mike's would like the him. one exception, though, because he's like Mike gets a lot of girls. It's probably Mike it's probably gets like more Mike's girls than any one like, of my friends I've ever been friends with. It's something about Mike. I don't know. I like how he's very mature. Oh yeah, Mike has God. something about him. I, I could see. Like, I like having him as a, a friend because I know that yeah. I could count on him. Right. You yeah. know, and I feel like girls will view him as that too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mike's daddy. He fucks too many girls, though. He does. He does. He That's, does. like, scary. To and me. I think it's getting yeah. to him. I think he's kind of like... You guys never saw Californication, the show Californication, but it's about a guy that, like, kind of lives Mike's lifestyle. He's a writer, and he just has so many women in his life. He's, like, a sex addict. I think Mike will, like, go on a spree, and he'll feel good about it, but mm -hmm. it's, like, it's still addiction, you know? Right, yeah, yeah. And it's, like, what are you trying to do? Is it even mm -hmm. a notch on your belt thing? Are you trying to get, like... Like, do you feel accomplished right, after yeah. it? But no, at this point, you know, it's not even that. I think he just wants... I think he was saying that he's, like, possibly ready to, like, maybe slow down on that kind of stuff. But it's so hard. It's for so a, hard because we live in LA and there's so many beautiful model I was girls say, running around. Yeah, I was going to say that it's just hard in LA in general. Yeah. Because everybody's priorities are all fucked up. Mm -hmm. But so mm -hmm. I'm, I'm I'm a victim of that too. You know, I my priorities are all fucked up. I don't answer back texts or anything. I just you know, want to podcast with Tana all the mm -hmm. time. Are you a fuck boy? No, I'm not a fuck boy. I can't read you that well. Sometimes I can read people, but I can't read you at all. Yeah, I get that it's a the lot. Glasses. <laughs> Have you ever seen the movie American Psycho? Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. I can I'm see it. I'm not, that's not, that's, <laughs> it's like a joke that she says Just that. A no, bit. I don't actually he's a nice guy. do stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's at dinner. Oh, uh, with his family. Steven, you have any questions you want to finish off with? I asked him, I think. <laughs> oh, Tandy, you had dinner with Theo, no? Well, I didn't have dinner with Theo. <laughs> I didn't have dinner with Theo, but we went to Theo's show last night, and then he came to a dinner I was at, and it was the highlight of my week, actually. Like, I'm his biggest fan. I was fangirling. He's crushing it right now. He's the funniest person alive. He's yeah, all yeah, over yeah, my yeah. TikTok for you page, and I'll re-watch the same jokes and stuff oh, and yeah. crack up the same oh, amount yeah. every single time. He's the funniest fucking... Like, the set he did last night, I've seen, like, a hundred times, and I still, like, mm -hmm. you're still dying laughing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, you watched, a, like, a repeat it? Like I said, I've seen before. Yeah, I'm wow. a really big fan. Honestly, he's like my dream podcast guest. Mm -hmm. He's like hilarious. whole nine. I was trying not to be like a freak last night at dinner. Did you ask him? Um, you know, sometimes it's the long game when you're clout farming. Mm -hmm. You can't just mm -hmm. jump the gun. Like, hey, come on, my podcast. Maybe it's like you know. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I think you guys would be funny together. He's so fucking funny. You'd, You'd be, be hilarious funny. together. Oh my sweetie. Do you think he's cute? I yeah. I know a lot of girls that think he's hot. I think he's like so. He's so hot. He's so like Theo Vaughn is everything. But he has just like he's fucked with like a few of my friends. Maybe like, oh, can has I he say really? That? I don't. Has he really? Is that like? Is that like I know to someone say? that he's fucked with. Yeah, and so like I, he, I just like get excited to like be a friend, mm -hmm, and it's not right. really like the energy. Right. And I like have this weird thing that when I like am like a fan of someone, like it makes me not want to get with them because mm -hmm. I don't like ruining that. Mm -hmm, I agree. You know? Yeah. Well, that's nice for Theo. You know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think you guys would be great together Aww. i'm just jealous i'm you jealous you're talking really about another guy being sad. funny and hot and you know i can't take it over here you're right so funny and i want to rap let's you're rap so <laughs> funny and hot with your tiny no. inverted <laughs> wiener <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Awesome. Next week we've got Mike on the show. We're going to talk about AI. We're going to talk about uh, mental health, how to deal with hate comments that he's getting over there on Impulsive. Tons of stuff. Love you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you, Skylar. That was great.